Microsoft Forms allows you to create surveys or quizzes, which can be sent directly through the Forms application, inserted into an email, added into a PowerPoint presentation, or distributed through a post, meeting, or chat in Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will begin to unlock the power of forms and how you can integrate it into some of your work documents and communications to gather ideas, pull your colleagues, and so much more. There are more advanced features of Microsoft Forms that we will not be able to cover in this video. So let us know in the comments if you'd like to see a part two to dive deeper into forms options, which include items like branching, managing form settings, and so much more. Now let's get started. First, let's look at forms on its own. You can access the Forms application by visiting portal.office.com. If it does not appear on your navigation pane, select the App Launcher to access it. You can access all of your recent surveys and quizzes from here. If you've pinned an important form, you can access those from the Pinned tab. To see all your forms, select this icon, and to search for a specific form, Enter some keywords into the search field. To create a new form, select the New Form button. To create a new quiz, use the drop-down and select the New Quiz option. You might be wondering what exactly is the difference between these two? A quiz will allow you to assign a point value to each question on your form, as well as add answers to the questions so the quiz can automatically grade the responses you receive. In a quiz, you can also add feedback on each question so the responder better understands what they answered incorrectly, or you can add some words of accolade. Regardless of the option you're selecting, whether you're creating a new form or a new quiz, you'll be able to access eight different question types. A choice question allows you to present multiple options for your responder to select from. You can restrict the responder to only one available selection or use this toggle to allow multiple options in a survey. Multiple choice questions offer an auto grading option if you're creating a quiz, allowing you to indicate the correct answer by checking it from here. Text questions allow responders to type in their answer to the quiz question. You have the option to allow for short or long answers when building your form. If you choose the short answer option, auto grading is available if you're creating a quiz, allowing you to input the correct answer or answers into this field. Rating questions allow you to present a question that requires a numerical or star rating as an answer. These questions are typically used in a survey, but can be leveraged in your quiz if you require a numerical answer to the question. Rating questions do not allow for auto grading if they're being used in a quiz. Date questions are also typically used in a survey because the question allows the responder to specify or choose a date off a calendar. Although this question type is designed for surveys, they can be leveraged in your quiz if you present a question that requires a date as an answer. Date questions do not allow for auto grading if added in a quiz. Ranking questions allow you to add a question and provide specific answers that must be shuffled into an order. If used in a survey, you may have the responder shuffle the question into an order of preference or importance. If used in a quiz, the responder can be asked to organize the answers into a very specific order. Ranking questions offer an auto grading option when used in a quiz by allowing you to input the options in the correct order. When the question is distributed in the quiz, they will be shuffled and the responder must arrange them back into this very specific order to earn the points that you've assigned. Likert questions are typically used to gauge attitudes, opinions, or satisfaction levels on a topic. 
These types of questions are often used in a survey but can be leveraged in your quiz, allowing a responder to complete a chart by matching a statement to an option. These types of questions do not allow for auto grading if used in a quiz. File Upload allows responders to upload files as part of their form submission. When this type of question is added, a new folder is automatically created in your OneDrive, which is where the responder's files will be housed for your review. This is a great option in a quiz if you require responders to show their work or draw out an answer. In a form, this can be very helpful if you require screenshots or documentation from the responder. This option does not offer an auto grading option if used in a quiz. Net Promoter Score inserts a scale very similar to the rating option and is most often used in a satisfaction survey. This type of question does not allow for auto grading when used in a quiz. Now that you better understand the question types, you can create your own survey or quiz with confidence. As you build your form, it will automatically save. To share your form, select the Share button. First, it's important to manage who the form will work for. If you choose Anyone Can Respond, any person who receives the link to this form can complete the survey or quiz. You can also choose Only People in My Organization Can Respond. This means only others who have a valid email address and password from within your organization will be able to complete this survey, whether you send it to them directly or it's forwarded along by another colleague. Lastly, you can choose specific people in my organization can respond to restrict who can access and respond to this form. If this survey or quiz is shared with others, they will not be able to access or complete the form as you have not included their email address on the recipient list. Now that you've selected your permission, you can choose how you want to distribute the link. If you'd like to be able to paste this link into a document, chat, or email, select the copy button and you can now distribute it to your responders by pasting it. Select this button to access a QR code that you can download and then socialize the QR code allowing responders to access the form. You can also access an embed code to help you insert this form or quiz into a web page or a Sway presentation. Lastly, you can select the envelope icon which will open a new email message using your default email service and it will paste a clickable link right into the body of your email. From this section, you can also get a link to this form to share it as a template, which means the recipient will not be prompted to answer the questions in the form. Instead, they'll be able to access the form and use it as a template to build their own. You can also choose to Share to Collaborate, which will allow you to share a link to this form with others who will be helping you build it. For example, once a recipient opens this link, they'll be able to add questions, view submitted responses, and even share this form with others. If you no longer want to share links in this way, you can always return to this form and select the Share button again. Now select the garbage can and choose Remove Link to disable access to this form through that link. A new link can be created by selecting the Get a Link option again. Since many Microsoft applications are integrated, you can access the form's application to build and distribute surveys and quizzes through applications such as Outlook, PowerPoint, and Teams. In Outlook, open a new email. Select the Insert tab. Choose Poll. The Poll pane will open and you may be required to sign in using your Office 365 credentials. Now you can build a quick poll right in this pane. Choose Add Option to add additional option choices. Use this toggle to allow multiple selections from your recipients. Choose Next to continue. A sample will appear as a preview for you. To make any changes, select Edit to return to the previous screen. 
Choose Add to Email when you're happy with your poll. Your poll will now be added into the body of the email. Although the poll appears as a link when it is added to your email, when the recipient receives it, it will be an embedded poll that allows the recipient to cast their vote without having to click or open any links. After casting a vote, the recipient can view the results of the poll in the email directly. They can also go back and open the email again in the future and refresh it for the updated results. It is important to remember, when you access forms in Outlook in this way, you are limited to choice questions as its primary purpose is to insert a poll. If you would like to add other question types, you can create the survey in forms and paste a copied link or QR code right into the body of the email. You can also access the email options from the share button in the forms application. You can also insert a form on a slide within a PowerPoint presentation. Navigate to the insert tab, choose forms, the Forms pane will open and you may be required to sign in using your Office 365 credentials. From here you can choose to insert an existing form you've created, build a brand new form in this application, or create a new quiz to test the knowledge of the presentation participants. If you choose to build a new form or a new quiz, the application will open using your default web browser, allowing you to build it from there. If you're inserting an existing form, hover over the chosen form and select the insert icon when it appears. You can resize and reposition the form on the slide if needed. Lastly, in Teams, you can leverage the polling option of forms in your conversation threads and private instant message chats by selecting the ellipsis to access more application options. From here, you can choose Forms. If you're in an in-progress call or meeting, you can open the conversation pane and choose the ellipsis. This will allow you to access messaging extensions. From here, you can choose forms. As we saw in Outlook, when you're accessing forms in Teams, you're able to create a multiple choice poll that allows others to make selections and cast votes. You can add as many choice options as needed, and don't forget to use this toggle if you'd like responders to be able to select more than one option. Use these checkboxes to manage the results of the poll by choosing if the results will be shared and updated automatically as votes are cast, and if you'd like voting to be anonymous. When your poll is ready, choose Save to see a preview. Choose Send to broadcast the poll into your meeting, chat, or conversation thread. As a reminder, you can socialize a survey or a quiz in Teams by creating it in the Forms application and sharing it by copying and pasting a link into the workspace, chat, or meeting. To view and manage all of the survey or quiz results, navigate to the Forms application. Select the form you'd like to review. Choose the Responses tab. From here, you'll get a snapshot of the results for all questions on the form. You can review each question in more detail by selecting the More Details hyperlink below that question. Select the View Results button to review each individual responder's completed form. If this was a quiz, you will also have the Review Answers button here. This allows you to go through the quiz responses and grade the quiz by assigning points and providing feedback. Auto-graded questions marked correct will highlight in green and those marked incorrect will highlight in red. You can still update and change the awarded points of an auto-graded question by updating the points value in the box here. Questions that did not have auto grading available will show Needs Review below the points box. Select this icon to add feedback to an individual question on that form, or 
Select this icon to add feedback for the overall quiz. Choose Review Next to move on to the next quiz awaiting your review. When you're done reviewing all of the quizzes, you can choose the ellipsis and select Post Score. This will give the responders access to their quiz results and your feedback by opening the original quiz link. As mentioned earlier, we have only begun to unlock the power of forms within this video. If you'd like to continue exploring the more advanced features of Microsoft Forms, let us know in the comments below. Some of the features that we'd love to highlight for you are branching, adding restrictions on responses, automated feedback, organizing your form through sections, stylizing your form with images, videos, and themes, as well as managing your form settings and more. We post new videos every Wednesday, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. At CCC, we did not get here alone, and neither should you.